My first guest is an Emmy winning, uh, Emmy winning, <laughs> Emmy winning comedian and actor. Uh, he is an actor now. I see him in these movies now. It makes me laugh. <laughs> His weekly show, Dennis Miller Live, kicks off its fourth successful season this Friday at 11:30 on HBO. Please welcome our old friend Dennis Miller. <laughs> Uh, it's a very scary video you had there, my oh, friend. Oh, I'm not huh? into politics. Jeez. <laughs> what has happened to this country? Huh? I mean, how did you get them to sign release forms? Would they put an X on it or what? Right? <laughs> it's the sort of people who think the number below zero is blast off. <laughs> yeah, I look at something like that, I feel like Heston waking up in the field, the chimp's on top of the pony. I mean, that is... Uh, <laughs> That is a scary piece of video. Now, you've lost the full beard. You've gotten rid of the beard? Yeah, well, Michael Jackson did it. I did it. Oh, yeah. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Have a good Christmas. I haven't seen yeah, you since last time. Yeah, we had a nice blast holiday. at Christmas. Yeah. Got my wife the uh, new Martha Stewart video, Don't Throw Out That Bow Movement. And uh, <laughs> she got me the Michael Jackson Home Facial Reconstruction Kit. And... Oh. Uh, Mike's got to quit tinkering with that noggin of his, huh? Huh? This guy's starting to give Madame Tussauds the creeps. I mean, <laughs> he's like the Golden Gate Bridge now. They just put a crew on. They get to the bottom of his feet. They start on the top of his head again. You know, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, speaking of facial uh, reconstruction, you see us coming back on the air with our own talk show. Yeah, we oh, Tammy, Baker. yeah, that's right. Sure, sure. Yeah, with Jim J. Bullock. Her and Jim J. Bullock. Jim came out last week, I believe, it was and announced he was uh, gay. <laughs> Thanks for connecting those dots, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> but Dennis, I think you can consider those tea leaves red, my friend. <laughs> but let's be honest. If you're a guy and you're working with Tammy Faye, wouldn't you rather say? I'm gay. It's easier just because there's a chance she could hit on you and it just makes yeah, it Yeah, well, I saw a picture and Tammy is, uh, she's a little beat. She's lost a few heat tiles on re-entry. I mean, this is, uh, anyway, we all chip in and buy old TF a cloaking device, okay? <laughs> there's so much makeup there. Rodeo clowns are coming up to her and go, hey, baby, I got two words for you. Earth tones, okay? You need me, I'll be in the barrel. I mean, she... Wear so much makeup, they treat her like a Christmas tree now. They don't even bother doing the third that faces into the wall. You know, they don't have... <laughs> I was, uh... Yeah, I was just down in uh, Tammy Faye Baker country. Yes? Branson, Missouri, which is Vegas for people without teeth. And, uh... <laughs> went to, uh... It's like a huge open-air DMV office down there. I mean... It's the sort of place where you'll see the club on a 73 AMC Pacer, you know, yeah. That's a good idea. I was going to steal that. I need a new aquarium, okay? I went to see the, uh... I don't... I went to see the Branson Philharmonic down there in that yeah. beautiful new concert hall on the interstate between Catfish Cabana and Unclaimed Freight. And, uh, they did the fifth movement of Tony Joe White's Poke Salad Annie. And I am telling you, Jay... Yeah. When that washboard section stands up to take its solo, I mean, it takes your breath away. It is, really. Brass is the sort of place where if they do run through with the Olympic torch, guys are going to try to light farts off it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I always feel uptight down south. Yeah, you don't, don't feel you fit in? No, I feel like Furman at the Apollo. I mean, they're, uh... I don't... Furman at the Apollo? Yeah. Well, they, they don't go see anything down there. You, they're getting scalpers prices for infomercial tickets. I got two in the pit for Juice Man. Who wants it? You know. I don't trust the cops. I don't trust any city where the sobriety test is. You have to get the pellets in the dog's eyes. You know, it's just... <laughs> the pellets in yeah. the dog's eyes. There's nothing to do at night there. The only nothing. entertainment's the 24-hour Kinko's. You know, this is like the Studio 54 of the 90s. You got velvet ropes out front. What are you, reducing color eyes? Come on in. Let's go. Now, Next thing you know, you're in the Mike Todd room, starting mimeograph fluid off the small of RuPaul's back. <laughs> Guess what? The, uh, the references get more I, and more I, obscure. I, I cannot believe you let me go that long with that stream of bullshit. We'll be more back with more of that. With Dennis right after this. More with Dennis right after this. You, you always 
just do that thing with your leg. Let's you shake it? my leg. We take a well, break. Don't, don't scare me like that out here, you know? Just, I'm always conscious of quakes. Yes, yes. You know, is there any job more useless on the face of the planet Earth than earthquake scientists? I mean, what, what do we demand of these guys? You got five stoners up in the foothills with a Ouija board and some peyote buttons, you know? Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe. What, you feel it? You feel it? No, no, no. But maybe. <laughs> Ah, get it together over there. <laughs> now, now, you've been on the road, you're touring Branson. What is the vibe when you go to small town America? Well, what, what do you quite find frankly, people... there's a lot of anger out there. This yes? country is about as skittish as Blanche Dubois in a 12-hour Sudafed. And uh, <laughs> Dubois. I find it as unsettling as a chauffeur in a neck brace. I'm telling you, people are... <laughs> people are pissed off out there, yeah. and I think it's the O.J. thing, man. There's a lot right? of uncapped yeah. anger. O.J., if you're watching, you're a bad man. You're a very... You are a bad, bad man. We know. We know, man. That smile ain't gonna work on me, pal. <laughs> you're an evil cat. Uh, but I think people are angry. I'd like to articulate the white man's rage right now. Dag nabbit. <laughs> you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a racist myself because I always felt why well, hate somebody based solely on the color of their skin, where if you just take the time to get to know them as an individual, there's so many more valid reasons to loathe each other. I mean, you know. But uh, I think people were PO'd at the decision because yeah. obviously... The blood evidence was so, so ironclad. It yeah. made about, you know, it made as much sense as opening a Ninja Turtle film in the Galapagos Islands. And yet, these, <laughs> these canny barristers saw, saw through it all and yeah. they acquitted them. And I think people were livid. And I think they're PO'd at Johnny Cochran, who abused Ito like a substitute teacher. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I just don't think... Uh, I don't think the jury system works anymore. It no. hasn't worked in a long time. The DeLorean jury, what do you have to do? What do you have to snort blow off the banister of the jury box, for God's sake? <laughs> the Lorena Bobbitt jury didn't know how to interpret the mere act of lopping your husband's schwantz off and <laughs> flinging it into the Okie Finoki. They felt they needed a little more data. <laughs> Let's put her away, observe her for a while, see if she does anything weird. What are we looking for? Red wine with fish? White slacks after November 1st? You know, I mean, the, the dismemberment itself tipped yeah. me off. That was my first big clue. Colonel Mustard was having a bad day. So you <laughs> put her in a state hospital for six weeks. At the beginning of her stay, you count up all the penises. Then uh, a month and a half later, you do a little Johnson retally. If the vault is full, she walks. It's the American way. Proud to be on board. There you go. There you are. And, uh, See, I tell you, though, but you know where it does work? Union City, South Carolina. How long did that trial take? Hour and a half? Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that, that trial, that, remember the Susan Smith, the woman killed? I mean, by Thursday, the judge was going, well, let's see, the wife got sausage and biscuits in the oven. Let's wind this up right about now. Boom. Boom. Well, you know, I think it was Boom. deeper than that. I yeah. think that that's such a... That so puts us in touch with our evil potential that nobody wanted to sit there more than 90 minutes with that in their lap. I mean, yeah. I think it just hips people to the fact that somewhere underneath, uh, you know, Freud had a stranglehold on it. We have got a weird underbelly of real illness, you know? And uh, people have in their subconscious, a young girl loses a boyfriend, her kids kill. I mean, it's just, there's so, it's such child abuse in this country. Now, you gotta promise me, if you're watching, uh, you ever get to the point in your life where you're so confused or broken that you feel you have to have sex with or murder a little kid, you've got to kill yourself, okay? You've got to, you've got to... You have got to lean into the strike zone and take one for the team. <laughs> now, what about this speech last night? What was did that you watch? What did yeah. you think? Were you impressed? Well, Hillary already pushing her new book, Memory Bridges of Morgan Guarantee, and, uh... <laughs> And, you know, when I, the thing that sticks with me is that overhead shot they took from the top of the Senate chamber. You yeah, just yeah. looked down, and it just struck me in such an overwhelming way that this entire country is screwed up because we're run by old, bald, white men. I mean, <laughs> we have all these stupid pinheads down there. <laughs> Al D'Amato, shut up and sit down, Al D'Amato, okay? <laughs> have an Al D'Amato chair and ethics committee is like having Kevorkian teach you the Heimlich maneuver, okay? <laughs> and we've got... Dick Luger, somebody wake Freud up, and Bob Packwood. This is the sort of guy who would have dressed up like a woman to get one of the Titanic's lifeboats, okay? No doubt he would have pinched his own ass, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, you hear women moan for that. 
And that is the bastard mentality we've beaten into women in this country where they can't even decry a man who just usurped women for years. I find it ironic that a guy was pro-choice, didn't believe in a woman's right to say whether she wanted to be fondled by him or not. This is a bad guy. Yeah. Now, you have, a, you have a book coming out. I imagine a lot of this stuff will be in the book. I have a compilation of the yeah. rants from my show. I put in a couple other ones on things that are earning my ire currently, yeah. and uh, it'll be out in March, I think. This will be a thick, thick book. Well, I'm a, I'm a little crank. I'm a little <laughs> free men upon. Well, I, I know you got your show. I know you got your show Friday. Yeah. It's Dennis Miller Live. We got uh, George Clooney on. The, oh, that'll be uh, great. And I am so hot for him. Thank you for coming Dad. over. I Take a break.